37 years in the making, the home of football finally has a new address. After discussions began in 1975 over a national football centre in England, that vision was made a reality on Tuesday with the opening of St George's Park. Not only will all 24 of England's teams use the site in Burton upon Trent as their permanent training base, the centre is hoping to promote grassroots participation and help more coaches earn UEFA for recognised qualifications as England looks to unearth its stars of tomorrow. Realising those ambitions will call on facilities that include 12 full-size pitches, five gymnasiums and two hotels. The centre received its royal seal of approval as the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge opened the £120 million site. A patriotic moment for FA Chairman David Bernstein to lay out the mission statement for St George's Park. An inspiring training base for all our international teams. A world leading coach facility, true to Harold Wilkinson's original aspiration for an Oxbridge of football. A sports, science and medicine facility that is set to lead the way in rehabilitation and research. And an integrated complex of hotels, education, leisure and corporate facilities that is already becoming a home for all English football. The men's senior team have already moved into their new home as they prepare for upcoming World Cup qualifiers against San Marino and Poland. But it seems manager Roy Hodgson is already thinking further ahead. We're very happy to be here. The players have taken very much to the new facility and we're looking forward, of course, to using it for years to come and we're also hoping that we'll produce a, a future generation of English players here. With a strong emphasis on youth development, Captain Stephen Gerrard, who has been involved with England since schoolboy level, wishes he could do it all over again. When you're a young kid, you want to you wanna come to places like this and you see the dream, you see you know, legends up on the wall and players who you aspire to. And you know, If you're an eight-year-old or you know, growing up here, this is an unbelievable place to come to and to learn and to grow and to improve. And you know, hopefully one day you can, you know, you can achieve your dream here. And I'm rather hoping, like everyone else on the top table here, that the work that will go on here and the amount of effort we'll put in here to, to help produce players and coaches will lead us one day to that elusive World Cup victory. As the sun sets for the first time over the newly opened St George's Park, it seems a new dawn in English football is just beginning. <laughs>